Once again, viewer discretion is advised. This story is just, it's tragic. It's horrific. I mean, imagine you're on your way to the Atlanta airport. You're miles away from home and you receive a text message from your 20-year-old daughter. Mahogany Jacquees Jackson, she would text her mother, quote, send the police, apartment three, held hostage, don't call, end quote, and she would send her location. She would also send her sister similar text messages that she was being held hostage. Family members and the police arrived to the location. It was the Serenity Apartments. But she actually wasn't there. She had been removed. By the time police arrived, she had been removed. But a woman there by the name of Taja Lewis, she also knows Mahogany. At first, she wouldn't let the police in. She told them that Mahogany had left. But then she let the police in. So the police was told that Mahogany left around 2 a.m. And she did. They couldn't find her in there. Mahogany had been taken to several other locations during this time. Her mother, Gail Maddox, she would plead on social media, please, someone help. Someone has done something to my daughter. Meanwhile, fight videos of Mahogany were appearing on social media. Now, apparently, there were claims Mahogany had taken something from Taja's apartment previously. Around 2.19 a.m. on a Monday morning, a passerby would call the police. A woman was found unresponsive on the side of the road. The woman was Mahogany Jackson, mother of a three-year-old child. She had been kidnapped, subjected to various violent acts, essayed, and ultimately shot and dumped. Investigators on the case are calling it one, if not the most heinous acts of crime seen in their career. On social media, videos are now being viewed. Portions of Mahogany's last hours of her being tortured were being recorded by her perpetrators. Yes, her brutal SA assaults, the violent acts, everything is now recorded and posted for everyone to see. And this was by people she may have once called her friends. Arrests were made. Four women and four men to date. Giovanni Clapp, 23, Blair Green, 25, Sanaya McCall, 23, they were all charged with felony murder, kidnapping, sodomy, and Giovanni Clapp is also charged with assault, causing injury. Taja Lewis, 25, that was the one that they went to the apartment to look for mahogany. She was found hiding in that complex in a vacant apartment that she had broke the windows out to. She was also charged with assault, causing injury with a weapon. Brandon Pope, 24, Francis Harris, 25, and Jeremiah McDowell, 18, are charged with murder, kidnapping, and sodomy. Ariana Robinson, 23, murder and kidnapping. All being charged for various crimes, all related to mahogany. All these people now are at the Jefferson County Jail without bond. Others may have been arrested linked to the disappearance and death of Mahogany. So now it's a total of eight to 10 people that have been involved in this crime is what I'm reading. But definitely, I believe we have the main players in jail today. Now, I've also read that there was something about a $2,000 refund that Mahogany may have had, really? Is that what this was about? It couldn't. It couldn't possibly be about $2,000. I guess they would all share it. Eight to 10 people would share it. 
mahogany. She was taken away from her mother and also taken away from her daughter. I also found them to be mothers and fathers as well. Some were even praying to God on their pages just days before this crime was committed. But now we know that social media is a fraud. Whatever it is, whatever it was, it was wicked, it was sick, it was disgusting. It was horrible. And a public motive has not been said as of yet. But most definitely, I will be following this case throughout. My condolences to everyone who loved and cared for Mahogany Jackson. This somewhat puts me in the mind of Shaquella Robinson, a young woman who thought she had friends and then would soon find out that they really weren't. Justice for Mahogany.